Welcome to FreemasonPodcast.com. The current series features selected articles from Mackey's Encyclopedia of Freemasonry. I am your host, Jeff Day, past master of Laurel Lodge No. 13, Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Oregon, currently a member of McKinsey River Lodge No. 195, located in Eugene, Oregon. Today's subject, Hiram, King of Tyre. He was the son of Abibal, and the contemporary of both David and Solomon. In the beginning of the former's reign, he sent messengers to him, and Hiram supplied the Israelitish king with cedar trees and carpenters and masons, and they built David a house. See Second Samuel chapter 5, verse 11. Nearly forty years afterward, when Solomon ascended the throne and began to prepare for building the temple, he sent to the old friend of his father for the same kind of assistance. The king of Tyre gave a favorable response and sent workmen and materials to Jerusalem, by the aid of which Solomon was enabled to carry out his great design. Historians celebrate the friendly intercourse of these monarchs, and Josephus says that the correspondence between them in respect to the building of the temple was, in his days, preserved in the archives of the kingdom of Tyre. The answer of Hiram to the application of Solomon is given in the first book of Kings, chapter 5, verses 8 and 9, in the following language. I will do all thy desire concerning timber of cedar and concerning timber of fir, my servants shall bring them down from Lebanon unto the sea, and I will convey them by sea in floats unto the place that thou shalt appoint me, and will cause them to be discharged there, and thou shalt receive them, and thou shalt accomplish my desire in giving food for my household. In return for this kindness, Solomon gave Hiram twenty thousand measures, or corum, of wheat, and the same quantity of oil, which was nearly 200,000 bushels of one, and 1,500,000 gallons of the other, an almost incredible amount, but not disproportioned to the magnificent expenditure of the temple in other respects. After Solomon had finished his work, he presented the king of Tyre with twenty towns in Galilee, but when Hiram viewed these places, he was so dissatisfied with their appearance that he called them the land of Kabul, which signifies barren, desolate, saying reproachfully to Solomon, Are these, my brother, the towns which you have given me? On this incident, the Scottish Rite Freemasons have founded their sixth degree, or intimate secretary. Hiram appears, like Solomon, to have been disposed to mysticism, for Dias and Menander, two Greek historians, tell us that the two kings proposed enigmas to each other for solution. Dias says that Solomon first sent some to Hiram, and that the latter king, being unable to solve them, paid a large sum of money as a forfeit, but that afterward he explained them with the assistance of one Abdemon, and that he in turn proposed some to Solomon, who not being able to solve them, paid a much greater sum to Hiram than he had himself received on the like occasion. The connection of the king of Tyre with King Solomon in the construction of the temple has given him a great importance in the legendary history of Freemasonry. Anderson says in the Constitutions of 1738, page 15, the tradition is that King Hiram had been Grand Master of all Freemasons, but when the temple was finished, Hiram came to survey it before its consecration, and to commune with Solomon about wisdom and art, and finding that the great architect of the universe had inspired Solomon above all mortal men, Hiram very readily yielded the preeminence to Solomon Jedediah, the beloved of God. He is called in the Masonic Instructions one of our ancient Grand Masters, and when the mythical Master's Lodge was held in the temple, is supposed to have acted as the Senior Warden. It is said, too, that in the symbolic supports of Freemasonry, he represented the pillar of strength, because, by his power and wealth, he assisted the great undertaking of constructing the temple. He is reported, also, to have visited Jerusalem several times, 
a fact on which profane history is silent for the purpose of consultation with solomon and his great architect on the symbolism of the word and to have been present at the time of the death of the latter many other legends are related of him in connection with the master's degree and those connected with it but he is lost sight of after the completion of the first temple and is seldom heard of in the high degrees hiram reigned over the tyrians for thirty-four years he permitted solomon's ships to participate in the profitable trade of the mediterranean and jewish sailors under the instructions of tyrian mariners were taught how to bring from india the gold to enrich their people and beautify the temple of their king tradition says that hiram gave his daughter in marriage to king solomon near tyre there is a tomb which to this day has been pointed out as that of hiram king of tyre as in the illustration if you wish to support this podcast please share it with others and subscribe by visiting freemasonpodcast.com follow at mason podcast on twitter or at freemason podcast on facebook you may also pledge freemason podcast on patreon any amount however small is appreciated and allows us to continue producing episodes until next time brethren keep spreading the cement of brotherly love relief and truth